Known to all as the Doc, Daryl Baldock enjoyed a superlative career in two states for 20 seasons. At school, at Sprayton, those days, it was an open, like you went to school, kindergarten, right through to secondary into one school, the Sprayton school out here, there's total enrolment about 120. And out of 120, there's probably about 80 girls and 40 boys. So you're in the football side if you could play. Immediate success, immediate success with East Devonport, East Devonport. He, won the, he won the best and fairest, and fairest in each of his first, first three seasons, seasons and a Wanda medal at age 17. 17. Just 20, Just 20 years, of age, years of age, he became, he became coach of Latrobe, Latrobe, winning a winning second, second Wanda medal, medal in his first, in his season, first with season with the club. He represented, he represented Tasmania, Tasmania for the first time, first time in 1957, performing with performing distinction in the 1958 and 61 carnival. The latter as captain when only 20. Doc was a draw card. You know, and uh, everybody went to see Bulldog play, see how many kicks he'd get, how many goals he'd kick. And, uh, you know, I think that he was so brilliant that uh, he was a real draw card, uh, draw card. He moved to St Kilda in 1962, winning three club best and fairests. He represented the Vicks on several occasions, including the 1966 Hobart Carnival, when he captained his side to victory. In 1966, he became the only St Kilda captain in history to hold the elusive Premiership Cup after the Saints defeated Collingwood by a point. On his Messiah-like return to Tasmania, the Doc coached Latrobe to four consecutive Premierships, won his third Wanda medal and led the state at the 1969 National Carnival. Never put your head or your backside off at first. Now, get them in the for day. There wouldn't be as many injuries, but uh, there'd be a lot of places not to play very long either.